I mean, uh, I can never get this right. Never get it completely straight. Good morning and happy Thursday, everyone. So, um, I alluded that yesterday that there was something I wanted to talk about. And I am going to get to that momentarily, but before I do that, let's get to my low and high merit kindness. Um, let's see, what was my low? Um, my low was that it was hot outside. Like, really hot outside. Like, I know I complained that, yeah, I bought that yesterday, but, I would, yeah, I complained about how Tuesday was hot, but yesterday felt even hotter. Like, I think someone, I overheard someone saying that, um, the inside, like, outside was like 99 degrees, I'm like, good God, really? And I, like, seriously, we're in that time of year where the smart thing to do would be to roll down your windows just so that air can get in your car. Because if you don't, the inside of your car is going to become a hot box. So, long story short, you know, um, we are definitely in, well, I know summer doesn't start for a couple of days, but it's practically here. So, um... Not that I need to remind anyone watching this, but uh, be sure to replace sunscreen. Be sure to drink plenty of water, please. And if you can find any means necessary to stay cool, you do so. Use a fan, jump in a pool, whatever. So, uh, summer's here to stay for a while. Which, personally, I like this a lot better than the cold, so, how am I, so I wouldn't complain. Um, let's see, my high is, actually, you know what, ironically, is that it is hot out, because it's leading to these really beautiful days, it is, and my act of kindness was I brought in the garbage cans, I didn't fill the dishwasher, or the dehumidifier, helped my mom wash my nephews, like, I did a lot. Because my mom got to see my nephews yesterday. Now I got to see my nephews and they're doing wonderful. In case anyone's asking. So, I alluded to, um, that there was going to be a stand-up special that I really wanted to talk about. And here's the thing. This stand-up special came out at this time, like, a couple of months ago. And I did think about doing a video on this stand-up special at first. But then, I didn't quite think, maybe there isn't really that much to talk about. But I've seen this stand-up special three times since it's come out. In fact, I saw it for the third time last night, just so I could get a refresher. Because at some point, I didn't really want to talk about this. It's uh, Taylor Tomlinson's Have It All special. Now, for those of you who don't know... Currently, um, well, Taylor Thompson is obviously a comedian, who, um, you know, roughly my age, I think she's like 30 right now, I'm 34, so I'm definitely a little older than her, but, you know, I definitely could say that, you know, she's someone in my general peer group, I guess, you know, my age group, I guess. And right now, it's fair to say that years from now, a lot of, like, fanboys such as myself and fangirls, you know, historians and such, they're going to say that Taylor Tomlinson ruled the world. And that time is, like, right now. Because she has three stand-up specials on Netflix, one I'm about one I'm talking about right now. She's the current host of After Midnight, which I love that show. In fact, I've been watching it the entire time it's been on. Love After Midnight. By the way, don't actually watch it After Midnight. Wait until it's on the next day on CBS.com. So, uh, I've seen every episode so far. I love it. I laugh every time. Like, worst case scenario, I just simply smile. Okay, like, trust me, it's that great of a show. And... Since we are in Pride Month, I can definitely mention how not long ago she came out as bisexual. 
So it's fair to say that she's, you know, an important figure in the Pride community. Happy, hope everyone's enjoying Pride Month, by the way. So again, it is a fair assumption to make that right now Taylor Tomlinson is ruling the world. And I find it so fitting that she named this particular special Have It All. Because, I mean, I mean, I don't think she would ever actually say she has it all, but you can make the case. Yeah, she does got to have it all going for her right now. And, I mean, listen, I've said this many times before, I'll continue to say this many times going forward. Good comedy should make you laugh, obviously. Great comedy makes you laugh, but it also makes you think. And when I say it makes you think, it could mean several things. It could mean you think, huh, I can actually relate to that. Or, huh, I didn't know that. I didn't, I never thought of it that way. Or you genuinely learned something you didn't know. But again, also was funny, it made you laugh, and you had a good time watching it. Like, that's what great comedy should do. And as I've been watching Taylor Tomlinson after midnight, like, it's, she's definitely, like, giving herself, like, that presence of, someday she's going to go down as one of the greats. Absolutely. Like... I keep, like, switching my Mount Rushmore of male and female comedians. Taylor Tomlinson will likely be on the Mount Rushmore at some point. At some point, it, at some point she will. I mean, not that I'm actually going to make this official because, again, it changes all the time. But at this current moment in time, I would say that my uh, Mount Rushmore of stand-up, of female stand-up comedians would be... Eliza Schlesinger, Margaret Cho, uh, Whitney Cummings, and Chelsea Handler at this moment in time. But again, it's subject to change. Some, like, seriously, I really could, like, there are so many great comedians nowadays, it's really hard just to name four. I mean, there have been times when Amy Schumer was on there, there have been times when Nikki Glaser was on there. There have been times when, um, uh, you know, Dulce Sloan was on there. Like, again, like, it really could be anyone at this point. And Taylor Tomlinson is proving that she is one of the greats right now. And her jokes in Have It All are just so funny to me. Because there are several things about what she says in this special that I can relate to. She talks about how dating sucks. She talks about, you know, that first meeting. Actually, that reminds me, because I literally just saw an interview, because she did, I forget what YouTube channel it was, but she talked about um, like all four of the jackets she wore in her stand-up specials, because she did one that for like a Netflix as a joke thing or whatever that was. And then, like, her other three Santa specials on Netflix. And her favorite joke in this special is that first meeting of, like, you take your significant other to meet your parents for the first time. And she says, it's not about meeting your parents. No, it's about showing them, like, taking them to the crime scene, like, why you're meeting them sometime. Like... You know what? I never thought of it that way. But, I mean, listen, I've never really been in a relationship. In fact, I suck at that sort of thing. So, naturally, I would, I mean, obviously if I was in a relationship, I would never be mean to, you know, a significant, like, first things first, I need to meet a nice girl. But if I ever did meet a nice girl, I would never be mean to them. But, again, like, I can totally see a scenario where, you know, I do meet a nice girl, but they're a little messed up, which we all are, so no worries there. And, like, she talks about how, like, when, like, you meet your parents, the parents are, like, so jovial and nice and, 
Like, the dad is saying stuff like he would never normally say. Yeah, she talked about how she has daddy issues too, which... Here's the thing. If I was ever in a... If I ever did stand up, if I ever did stand up myself, I do have one joke about how there are some words I find uncomfortable saying or some words I just straight up hate. And the word daddy is one of them. Because I'm 34 years old, I shouldn't be calling anyone daddy. The only time I should ever be saying that word is if a beautiful woman calls me daddy, to which case I'll be so surprised. I'm like, did y'all just call me daddy? Like, that's... Like, that's how weird it feels for me to say that word. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just how I feel. But, you know, again, it's, it's not about me, it's about Taylor Tomlinson. Now, let's see. She talked about how uh, she spent seven grand on, um, glove, on a glove that Hugh Jackman wore during his time on Broadway playing The Music Man. She talked about how, again, she suffers from anxiety. Nothing wrong with that. You don't judge here. And how was uh, she ruined Christmas because she thought she swallowed an AirPod? She wears AirPods because she has trouble sleeping. She literally did crowd work, and her crowd work was the crowd telling her ideas on how to sleep better. Which, you know what? That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad idea. I mean, listen. At some point, you wind up asking a bunch of people the same question. Why not get it all done at once? That's funny to me. She talked about how um, in therapy, like it's different when you're in a relationship as opposed to when you're single. She talked about how, um, uh, shoot. There's two, there's two particular jokes I want to get into, but there's, I want to give like one more example. Um, oh, right. She talked about just doing dating apps in general. I mean, I mental dating sucks thing, but Again, the day, and I love how she started the dating app a bit, like, and not long ago, someone was using my name and profile on a dating site. And it was me, I was doing it. Like, yeah, that's, that's funny, it is, I love that stuff. Now, I alluded to yesterday how, um, there was one joke I once heard where, I felt attacked. And it was in the stand special. Now listen, I am not mad at Taylor, like, listen, full disclosure, what I'm about, the joke I'm about to repeat is actually my favorite bit in this, I mean, I know her favorite stand, bit, uh, I know her favorite bit in this, in the Have It All special is the whole, like, taking your boyfriend to meet her parents. My favorite bit, however, Ironically, again, is one where I actually legitimately felt attacked. I'm like, I actually, before I say what it is, I want to say, like, if I ever did meet Taylor Tomlinson, I'd be like, I got a phone to with you. Like, you know, this is just a bit, this is off a joke, again. And I'd be like, you want to say a joke where I felt attacked, I felt invalid, and I desperately needed a hug. But I never got a hug. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Anyway, the joke was that tall white guys don't know what empathy means. Which, listen, as a tall white guy, I will admit that's the part where I felt attacked. However, I know for a fact I'm not the tall white guy that doesn't know what empathy is. Because I get the feeling if that was the case, I don't think I would have made 2,363 videos at this point, in which I would say a good chunk of them had been nothing but expressing my feelings. So I'm pretty sure I don't fall in that category. But when Taylor Tomlinson did this bit, She's like, okay, imagine that you're me, but I'm not. Okay, imagine that you can feel how I feel. Imagine that you feel how I feel, but I don't. Okay, imagine you could feel how I feel. I never will. Okay, pretend you're a basketball player, okay? What's that? I, I like this game. Like, <laughs> I 
mean, I like sports. That's fine to me, it is. I mean, yeah, I felt attacked, but I couldn't get mad either. That was just good. And before I sign up, I have to say, because I literally just finished, I saw like the first half of it last night, and then I saw the last half before I started recording this. I had to get some sleep, guys. Anyway, I see her closer for this um, special is actually one of the best I've seen in a long time. Especially when, you know, it's funny, Father's Day just recently happened. I talked about how, you know, I do feel sad that, you know, I haven't met a nice girl yet. I do feel sad that I'm not a father yet, but I know someday it's gonna happen. And in her special, she talked about how, you know, her, all of her married friends don't want her to be happy or, or how, um, you know, her, like, one of her best friends that was single is, like, found a nice guy and, like, it'll happen for you, too. Like, she talked about that, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious, really, truly. But it was her closer where I mentioned how, or, uh, literally a minute ago, I mentioned how, you know, yeah, I'm not in a relationship yet. I haven't found a nice girl yet, but someday I know it's going to happen. And I know I don't, I'm not in a relationship right now, but you know what? That's okay. It is going to happen. So one of her best friends gets married. And again, Taylor Thomas mentioned how she suffered from anxiety. And her best friend, who again just got engaged, you know, checked on her mental health, which honestly, if that's not a true friend, I don't know what is. So, what Taylor did was, <laughs> she gets on stage later that day, and it's a big crowd, like 2,000 people. She um, wanted to do something nice for her friend. So what she does is she takes her phone, like, pretty much while I'm doing around this, like, imagine I'm holding the phone right now, and you have like 2,000 people behind me, and we're all saying, congratulations! And then, she texted that and she said, you know what? I'm doing just fine. Like, that is like, listen, I'm not in, how do I put this? Because I don't want to say this wrong. If that's not the most in your face, backhanded compliment, I don't know what it is. And that's great. I loved it. It was, I mean, listen, there's a bunch of Santa specials I've seen many times. You know, you guys want me to do Santa specials that I highly recommend? I should. Oh, that'd make for a great video series. I mean, it doesn't have to be ones that come out. Like, there have been plenty of Santa specials that I genuinely feel that shaped my sense of humor and, in a lot of ways, my way of thinking. Maybe I'll do that. That'd be cool. But regardless of what I do, I have to give a shout out to the lovely and talented Taylor Tomlinson. I mean, listen, I know that you may, I know you literally named your special Have It All and how no one can have it all and, you know, you know no one can actually truly have it all. But I can definitely say what you have is, well, for starters, it's a lot more than a lot of people have. But having it all, or whether or not you have it, having this stuff, let's say, and knowing how to use it are two different things. And not only are you using it, but you're using it in a way that's smart, funny, and that's why you are the host of After Midnight. So, I mean, there's no way in hell Taylor Thompson's ever going to see this. But if she does, know that, wish you well. Really funny. Holla at you, boy, because I really want to be on After Midnight at some point. <laughs> and, yeah, I really do wish you the best. This is funny. It, you're just really funny. You are.
By the way, don't even think, don't think, don't, don't even think about it out there. Some people are going to watch this and be like, ooh, is he crushing Taylor Thompson? No, I am not. Listen, no offense, but one of my standards is I don't want to date anyone younger than I am. I'm 34 years old and she just recently turned 30. She's too young for me. That's okay. I will, I will admit, though, again, she is lovely and talented, so there you go. I hope you like this video, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I'm very home. This video, I hope you guys watch this over today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And remember, if anything is well, talk to you, I'm going to be back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.